Good morning, guys. Uh, we're gonna take you through our morning cars routine. This is meant to start your day, just kind of get blood flowing. Shouldn't take too long here. Um, as you guys know, if there's any closing joint pain, if it bothers you, you wanna stay within that range. Don't try to push the limits of it. If it hurts, feels funny, pretty much, let's get away from it. Um, we're gonna start you off with your neck cars. Remember that we always irradiate it to the ground. So first thing I want you to do, pull in a little bit of air. You wanna go past your chest, feel your belly inflate with some air. You wanna tighten up. Then we're gonna push into the ground. I want you to push your big toe into the floor. You should feel that tension start coming up. I'm gonna spread the floor out. And now, core tight, arms tight, push your fist to the ground. I wanna bring my chin to the center of my chest. From here, I'm gonna slide up to one shoulder, and I wanna completely look at the side. Now from here, I want you to notice the angle that I'm going to create. After I've turned completely, I'm looking over the shoulder now, I wanna bring my left ear to my left heel as I tilt my head, and then I'm gonna roll my head over the back of my shoulders as I look up, and I do the same on the opposite side. Now I go ear, my ear to the heel. I transition to look over the shoulder behind me, chin down, and I'm back to the center. We're gonna go right across, taking it through, over, down, Make sure you still have the tension in the arms, pushing the fist to the floor. I'm spreading the floor with my feet. I feel the glutes, hamstrings engaged. Let's go the opposite way. I'm gonna go up to the shoulder, look behind. You're gonna tilt the head, ear to heel. Scan the ceiling above you as you roll your head back. Over to the opposite side. Looking over the shoulder, sliding down. Going for your second rotation. Look behind you, stop. Drop the head. Look up, roll across, ear to heel. Hold it, look behind, chin down, and we're back center. Now by the time you finish your two rotations, you should feel like when you relax, you do have to kind of shake out the hands, kind of change your footing. We're gonna go right into your shoulder cars now. So what I want you to do, if we're gonna make a fist, keep your hands out. Now the goal here, we're gonna squeeze the shoulder blades together. I don't wanna release them. I'm gonna bring my shoulders up to my ears. Now I come forward, I push the shoulder blades apart, but I wanna stay nice and high. Once I'm in my most forward position, I gently go down with my shoulders, try to get your armpit to your hip by pushing down. Then I squeeze back together as I continue to reach that underarm to the hip. Shoulder blades together, get back to the top, moving forward, down, back. Then we're gonna reverse it from here. You're gonna squeeze the shoulder blades, push down this time. Now, fist forward, reaching out, hold that forward position, gently come up, we're gonna shrug our shoulders up. Keep them high as you squeeze the shoulder blades together. Push down, forward, up, back, down, relax. Now you should be getting loose by now, so we're gonna go up to your T-spine. So the most important part here is that we make sure we're not moving our hips. What I want you to do is to cross the arms and you're gonna squeeze in tight. So we're gonna keep the rest of our body tight, big toe into the ground, spreading the floor. Now remember that we like to use the laser. We wanna point that laser in between your feet. There's a laser, it's taped to the center of your chest. So I wanna get that laser down. Notice that I round my upper back. I'm not bringing the hips back nor do I want to rotate, keeping my hips as square as possible. 
Laser pointer in between your feet. From here, I'm gonna follow the ground to the side, to my left side, trying to turn as much as I can without that hip following. Once I have the laser pointer on the wall to my left, I'm gonna trace up that wall till I get to the ceiling. Now I want to imagine a straight line above my head. I'm going to get that laser directly above me as I come across the top to the opposite side of the room. Now notice the hip still doesn't follow. Hip squared straight ahead. I'm going to come down to the floor and finish in between my feet. Once again, staying tight, down, we're going to go across the floor to the wall, follow the wall straight up to the ceiling, take the ceiling across to the opposite side of the room, follow the wall down, across the floor, back in between your feet. Now let's reverse it, still staying tight, going in the opposite direction to the wall, freeze, wear your hips. Notice that my hips aren't turned towards the camera. My hip is actually pushing in the opposite direction in which I'm rotating. From here I go up the wall, across the ceiling, down the wall, tracing the floor. Up across. Now remember that the goal is, I do want to rotate and get to my end range as best as I can and try to stay at that end range as I continue my packing. Good. Shake it out. Relax. Now we're going to hit the shoulders. I want your palm facing the ceiling and imagine that there's a line going through your body. I want to try to get my arm across that line, but continue to have the palm facing the ceiling. From here, I'm gonna go up, elbow locked out. Don't let that elbow bend, I'm gonna extend the arm. And I'm gonna bring my bicep to my ear. Once I can't go back any further, I'm gonna turn my palm out, facing away. And I'm going to continue to rotate like I'm wringing out a towel. Now take note of how wide my arm is. I do want to try to get that arm back behind me as I continue to rotate as I come down. And I finish with my pinky forward. Now we're going to reverse it. Imagine that you're holding a cup. I don't want to spill what's in that cup. I go up as high as I can. Now, once I've reached my end range, I'm going to start rotating out as I try to stay on that center line that's going through my body, bringing my bicep up to the ear. I turn my palm to the ceiling across my center line. Do that for two to three reps, full circles. Then we'll go to the opposite side. Again, remember that center line is very important to keep your hips and shoulders square. I'm coming across, bicep to the ear. Find your end range. I don't want to bring my ear to my bicep, so let's make sure our head stays nice and straight. I'm trying to get that bicep in, elbow locked out. Get to the back so you can't go anymore. Now we're going to rotate. Keep rotating, wring out that towel. Freeze. Let's check, can we rotate a little bit more? Yes, I can. Now, get it back behind you. Keep rotating as you drop. Remember to finish, pinky to the front, and reverse. Going palm to the ceiling. Don't spill the cup. Once I've gone as high as I can, I'm going to start rotating out. My goal is to get that bicep to my ear, locked out, across the body, 